Hello, my name is Samantha, and this is an advanced reading class on Verbling. Um, today we're going to be looking at a news article from The Guardian titled, Sale of Stolen Banksy Mural Cancelled. So we'll be learning lots of new vocabulary, and we will read the article together. We'll look at some new expressions, and then we'll talk about the article. Um, and we'll work on uh, putting together a summary of what we've read. So. Um, if you're a premium member, you can join class right now, um, or if you have a reservation, you can use that now to get into class early. Um, you can get reservations at verbaling.com slash get reservations, or you can become a premium member at verbaling.com slash premium. It's 25 bucks a month, and that gives you um, an unlimited amount of reservations so you can join as many classes as you want. If you don't have a reservation that you can use then you can join as soon as the button's green so in about 30 seconds and you can come hang out with me and we'll learn some vocabulary and do some reading. So hopefully you guys will come on in soon. Hi to everyone in the chat. Hmm. So again, some ways uh, you can get reservations are liking the Facebook page, um, inviting your friends to come hang out with you on Verbling. Um, you can also watch a short video there and that will give you a reservation. Or if you link your Facebook account to Verbling, that will also give you a reservation. So there are some ways to get free reservations, which is cool. Um, so this is an advanced class. Uh, you're also welcome to join if you're at an intermediate or high intermediate level. Um, Fabian will be in the chat, so that's cool. And yeah, you should be able to come on in now. So welcome. Hi, guys. Good morning. <laughs> Hey Igor, how are you? Hi Samantha, I'm doing well. How about you? Good, thanks. Um, just to warm up, how about everyone uh, just quickly introduces ourselves and then tell us what you did on the weekend. Um, so my name is Samantha, I'm Canadian, and this weekend I worked and I went to visit a castle in France because there's lots of castles here. Um, it was pretty cool. It was very sunny, really nice, finally. <laughs> no rain. Um, Igor, could you introduce yourself and tell us what you were up to this weekend? Yes, I'm Igor. I'm from the Republic of Moldova. And uh, this weekend, I uh, learned English. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, I went to a birthday party. A birthday? Yes, Saturday. Oh, cool. And it's all. All right. Great. And you were online learning English? Sorry? <laughs> and you were online learning English all weekend? Uh, yes, I was uh, online and I learned English. Cool. All day, I think. <laughs> all right. Or maybe half day. Half the day, okay. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> all yes. right. Um, hi, Jose. Jose, I just um, asked you to maybe mute yourself or use headphones because there's a little bit of an echo coming from you. Okay, uh, I'm from Jose Costa Rica. Well, my, I, I like swimming. Uh, I've been fixing my thesis. Well, mm -hmm. that's it. Okay, cool. And hello, Pablo. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm Pablo from Buenos Aires, Argentina. Uh, well, this is not my first class with you. Yeah, it's I've nice had to a class you. with you, yes. Yes, I think we've had a class before. Um, and what did you do this weekend? Uh, Nothing, stay at home. Uh, it was a boring weekend. I spent <laughs> in the computer too much time. Yeah. Okay, cool. 
Nice to meet you. And hey, Rafael. Hi, good morning. Um, I'm Rafael. I'm from Spain, and I, 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 I have to use the past, no, for the weekend. Yeah. So, uh, I, I were studying English too, and also I went with my friends on Saturday to to the mountains to take a walk and to take a, a lunch to have a lunch. And it was very funny, and I I've enjoyed a lot this weekend. Cool. Um, just a quick note about the difference between fun and funny. Funny yeah. is like when someone tells a joke, and you're like, ha ha ha, that was so funny. Mm -hmm. But fun is like when you had a really good time, and it was it was lots of fun. So mm -hmm. that's the difference. So in this case, you would say fun. Um, and you might say, I watched a comedy movie on TV last night, and it was really funny. Yeah, that's perfect. Thank yeah. you. All right, cool. Um, and hello, Isaiah. Isaiah, can you hear hello. me? Hello, yeah. Okay, so you just got your headphones on there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Where are you from? Um, I'm from Mexico City. Cool. And what did you do this weekend? Um, actually, I'm studying uh, for to be an English teacher. Oh, cool. So I, I was in, in the uni university. Mm -hmm. So um, um, I went to visit to my niece. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, only. <laughs> I, I, I didn't go out. So because, just kind of visiting and studying. <laughs> yes, because okay. uh, I, I'm going to finish the the, the semester, so mm -hmm. I need to I need to study so much. Of course, <laughs> <laughs> I know how that is. <laughs> yes. Lots of studying. Cool. Yeah, uh, it's my first uh, time with um, with you. So yeah. I don't know where are you from? I'm from Canada, um, near Toronto. Mm -hmm. And I live in France right now. I live in Paris. Oh. Yeah, I've never been to Mexico, but I'd like to go. It looks really um, cool. There's lots I, of students online from Mexico, so it's making me want to go even more. <laughs> yes, <laughs> um, I have a friend that is from Canada too. Cool. And he's giving his um, services. And he's actually my friend, and I speak with with him. Um, That's really and, helpful. <laughs> yes, yeah. because um, he he's uh, teaching me uh, vocabulary and how to improve my my skills. Oh, the skills. Good. Yes. Um. Did you say he's in the services? Yes. Like he's in the in the army. Mm, no, in in my university. So oh. he he give. He gives um, uh, conversation and some subjects. Oh, okay. In university. Yeah, there's actually an expression sometimes when we say in English um, "in the service" or "in service." Um, it sometimes means that someone's in the army. Like, um, okay. uh, like my brother's in the army. So if I said he's in service or he's serving, it means like he's serving for the army. Just kind of an expression. So, what would be the 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 right word to it? To... Well, if he's he's a teacher there, then um, you could just say that he's teaching. He's teaching English. Yes, but actually, he when well, actually in the past he was studying in Canada. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what it's uh, it's a stage in your academy. Me or I don't know that you you can travel or you can give your oh maybe he's doing an internship ah uh, yes that's probably what it is um, that's where you uh, you can do internships in different countries different cities for just a semester two semesters um, and it's like taking a year some time away from your home university to go somewhere else to work and study yeah okay. cool all right nice to meet you nice to meet you too. And hey, hi, Ann. Hello. Long time no see. How was your weekend? <laughs> um, my weekend was so so. 
not so good? It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, did you do lots of studying? Mm, not really. I didn't study much on weekends, usually. Uh, I like visited my grandparents, but uh, sometimes something happened to my... Yeah, something happened. Something bad happened and I had to stay home. Oh no. I hope it's okay now. It's mm, not. Actually, yeah. Uh, there's a guy, he works with my mother and he passed away. And oh then, no. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's too bad. So are you at home now with your mom then? Yeah. yeah. My mom is working. <laughs> so you're by yourself right now, but... <laughs> yeah. What, what, what time it's is it for you? Uh, it's uh, 1 and 11 p.m. 11 p.m. 1, 11 p.m. Yeah. Oh, 1, 11 p.m. Oh, right. It's afternoon for you. Just you're ahead of me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, um, cool. So today we're reading a news article and looking at vocabulary. So we'll do this the same way that we've been doing it the past few times. Um, actually, I guess I should give you guys this document. I will do that now. Um, but we'll just look at the vocabulary first, and then we will actually read the document together, and we'll discuss the news article a little bit. So. First, let's take a look at this. I'm just trying to find the link for you guys. Here it is. So you can look at it on my screen, um, or you can look at the document in Google Drive, whatever works best for you. I'll keep it up on my screen so everyone outside can see it. Um, if you just, can somebody please try to access it on Google Drive for me, just so I can share it with you? Uh, thanks. Perfect. There you go. Okay, and here's the link in the chat. So there it is. So first we will look at the vocabulary. Um, I see Mohammed is trying to join. Um, Mohammed, you just need a Google Plus account. So would anybody like to read out this vocabulary list for us? There's some crazy words there, but you can do your best to pronounce them. <laughs> Any volunteers? Yeah, I may. Okay. Banting, okay. banting, condemned, confidentially, episode, furrow, interbank, inundate, jubilant, legitimate, lots, Mural, preserve, preserve, prize, withdraw. Good. So, first one we have is bunting. Any idea what bunting is? There's actually a few different meanings. Have you guys ever heard this word before? No. No. So, one meaning is it's a baseball term, like the sport baseball. And in baseball, it's where you go to hit the ball, but you hold your bat right here and then you let the ball just kind of bounce off of your bat. That's, that's one type of bunting. Um, in this case, they're actually talking about something different. They're, um, it's number two, a line of small flags on a string used for decorating buildings and streets for special occasions. So I'll show you a picture of what bunting is. It's like this, where you have kind of a string, and it's usually triangular flags or something, and it'll decorate streets usually. Um, and it's usually with your country's flag, but sometimes it's just colored flags, and it's just for decoration. Like these ones are just colored, kind of like a string. Or you can have different um, things like stars and hearts. So it's just a type of decoration. That's bunting. Um, what about the word condemned? Does anyone know what condemned means? Punished. Punished, yeah. So can you give me exam an example of condemned in a sentence? For, uh, he was condemned for four years. No? Yeah, so you would say 
Um, he was condemned to four years. Oh, two four years. Two four years in prison. For or the thief. For the yeah. For the thief. For, for the theft. It's pronounced yes, theft. For the theft. Um, the person is pronounced thief, but the act is a theft. Theft. Cool. Yes. Um, confidentiality. Does anyone know what confidentiality means? Secretly. Yeah, secretly, um, top secret, maybe. <laughs> if something's confidential, um, it's usually important information that nobody else can know about. Only a certain, um, certain people are given access to it. Um, episode? Yes. A part. Uh, a yeah, chapter, a part yes. of something, um, a piece of a series. Is an episode like on television, mm -hmm. a TV episode. Um, Führer. Führer. That might be a new word for you yeah. guys. To be angry. Maybe. Yeah. So it can be it can be anger or it can sometimes be excitement. Um, but it's usually related to anger when something gets you really excited and angry about something. About something. There is else. a song of uh, there is a song of ACC that name the Führer. Do you hear it? <laughs> Probably. Which ACDC song is it? Do you know? Uh, the Führer. That's the name of the song? Yeah, oh, I, I see it. Führer. The Führer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is the, 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 it. The, I, is the Bibi Sandbach's uh, theme song? Ah. Yeah. I know ten -nan -ten -nan -ten -nan -ten -nan ten 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 <laughs> Great. Do you have a guitar? Could you like? No, no, play no, it? That, no. I'm, I'm confused. No, that's not the Führer. No. <laughs> the Führer is another one from uh, ACC. Okay. Um, okay. So okay. Führer is. A, excuse me. Führer is an adjective. No. Um. No. Führer is a noun, but you you feel you feel furious. That's an adverb. But if you are, you can be filled with furor. Let me just find an example. Like um, the game Fatal Fury, the furor. Yeah, filled with furor. Um, okay, here's here's an example. It was such a furor that security guards had to be called in to restore order. So when people are angry, um, it can either be a group of people or it can be used to describe a singular person is angry about something. So something has happened and it has affected them in this way. So you can say that you're furious, and that's an um, adverb to describe your feeling, or you can say you're filled with furor, or a group of people were in a furor, like this. Baseball fans in a fur were or were in a fur. Sorry, as the game stretched to eleven innings, were in a fur. So that means it to be in a fur means that they're really frustrated and really angry because of this situation. So it can be either noun or it can be um, an adverb when you use it as furious. Okay. Um, I don't know how to get a Google account. Yes. I believe it's just plus.google.com. Okay. Um, intervene? What does that mean, to intervene? Inter. <clears throat> intervene. Uh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Intervene means, uh, for example, uh, two person have it have a has a problem with together, and somebody out of two person uh, comes between two person and uh, try to solve uh, the, this problem. Right, right. And just a note about person. Um, we usually say one person or two or more people. Okay. So you would say there was an argument between two people. And one person on the outside became involved, right? They try to solve it. So to intervene is to kind of interrupt something, to step in um, 
and a fight is a good um, a good example. You can picture two people fighting or about to fight, and someone steps in and goes, "No, no, no, break it up." No, that's so that person is intervening. So, um, persons question. doesn't exist. Persons uh, at the plural word. Persons. persons. Persons I mean, uh, doesn't ten exist. persons. We have ten persons in this. So pers example. persons exists, but we usually use it more when we're talking about like a, a cultural group or a race or something. Then we say like um, you might say something like the native persons, but it's it's not very common. It's much more common to say people. Whenever you're talking about more than one person, we we usually say people. Mm -hmm. Okay. To pluralize it. So you would say there were two people fighting. If if I were to say there were two persons fighting, that sounds really strange. It doesn't sound natural. Okay. Yeah. Um, Huyen, did you have a question? Yeah, uh, I have a question. Teacher. Sorry? Uh, f Is there any if... difference between... <laughs> okay, you go first. All right, you, you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, uh, Pablo first. We learned we learned the the word furor with the e in the end, but I search and there is furor without the e. It's is, the is same that word. The same? Yeah. All right. It's, it's a All different right. spelling, but it means the same thing: anger, rage. Um, exactly. Same word. Right. Different spelling. <laughs> yeah. Um, and Huyen, what was your question? Yeah, my question was: Is there any difference between intervene and interfere? Um, they're synonyms. Intervene and interfere. Yeah. So to intervene, the yeah, other synonyms. You and when we were using the example with an argument, you could use either word interchangeably, and they're both fine. Okay. Yeah, they're just different words. Um. Okay. Here's another one. Inundated. Inundated. I feel like that might flooded. be in flooded. Pardon? To be flooded. Yeah, to flooded. be. What do you mean by to be flooded? Too much. Sleep yeah, flooded something. with something, right? Like um, figuratively flooded. When you're. I was thinking about the literal flood. You, you were okay. So I, I believe. Let me double check. I believe it can be used as both. In this case, we're talking. Yeah, a flood. To be. Um, Overwhelmed emotionally to have too much of something can be to be inundated with something, um, but I do believe it can also be used literally as a flood. So it can be either the literal or figurative flood. Um, does everyone know what that means when I'm saying the literal or figurative? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, what about jubilant? Jubilant. That's a great word. <laughs> I just think it sounds cool. Plenty of joy or something like that. When yeah, you yeah, exactly. Full of joy. Very, very happy. Very happy. Triumph. Like, not just very, but really happy. Like, extremely happy. So we can say something is jubilant or someone is jubilant. Yeah, someone Which is jubilant. Which one is correct? Okay. Someone Should is jubilant. Um, legitimate? Do know what legitimate means? It's, uh, maybe it's something that is original. That is, no. sorry? According to law. Yeah, according to law, um, lawful, legal. Uh. So, for example, um, when we talk about adoption, you can say that someone is your legitimate child once you've adopted them. They're legitimately your child. Legitimately. Um, what about, okay, the word lots. So we've probably heard it in the form of like a lot. A lot meaning a large number of something. But do you know what it means when we're talking about space? One lot, two lots. Yeah, exactly. So in this article, they're talking about an auction. Um, and the lots in an auction are like the groups or divisions of things that they're going to sell at the auction. So usually there's maybe 10 lots at an auction, and they'll sell them in groups, like lot one, then they take a break, lot two, then they take another break, and so on. 
So this is it's that kind of lot. It's a different kind of lot than saying there's a lot of something. Um, what about a mural? You guys know what a mural is? It's like a wall. Yeah. It's, painting in a wall. Exactly. A painting on a wall. So it's when an entire wall usually is painted by someone and it's some sort of picture, um, some sort of scene or, yeah, and it's covering a wall. So it's a mural. Uh, what about to preserve something? Maintain. Yeah, maintain. Protect, Protect yeah. Um, what Safe. about prized? Prized. Okay, so prized with a Z means that you've won a prize at a fair. Like you've won first place and you're like, yay, I won first place. I won a prize. <laughs> or if you enter a contest and you win a prize. Um, but this kind of prized with an S, it means forced to be separated. Forced apart. Um, so let me see if I can find a, an example. Mm. I don't know. I'll type an example. The link of the document, yes, <coughs> I can. It's up at the top of the chat, actually. Or in the middle. Here it is. Oh, it has the block button. There. <laughs> okay. Okay, so for example, um, it's when something is like pried apart. So for example, you might have a paint can, like you want to paint something, and you take um, something like this, some sort of tool, and you stick it underneath the lid of the paint can, and then you peel it up, and then it pops open. That's, that's like to pry something, or to pry something, to pry it apart, prize it apart. You can say after you've pried it, it, is, it has been prized apart to separate it. Um, and the last one is withdrawn. To take. To vault out. Out. Yes. To remove, take away, get something away. Um, OK, so let's fill in the blanks. Uh, number one, a large painting done on a wall. Mural. 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 So it's pronounced mural. 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 Not mural. So it's more like this, mural. 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 Um, number two? Bunting. Bunting, yeah. So that's the small flag. Bunting. Number three? Push. Withdrawn. Withdrawn. Yeah. Withdrawn, yeah. Removed from a sale. So they're talking about an auction. Number four? Forced apart. Price. Price. Yeah. Number five. Extremely jubilant. 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 Not jubilant. Yeah. Um, become involved in a situation in order to try to stop or change it. Intervene. 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 Number seven. Get lots. Lots. Number eight? Overwhelmed. Inundated. Yes, overwhelmed. So we used, yeah. Inundated. Oops, I spelled it wrong. Pressure. Inundated. 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 Number nine, take care of something in order to stop it from being found. Preserve. Yeah. Number 10? Confidentiality. 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 So once you get to this middle part, the TIA, it almost sounds like a ch. Confidentiality. Confidentiality. Yeah. Confidentiality. Confidentiality. Okay. Um, number 11? 
not really seen. Oh. Episode. Sorry. Yes, good. Episode. Um, or is that the word? Yeah, episode. episode. Number 12? Fuel. Fuhrer. 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 Yeah, that was better. Pure. Um, number 13? Condemned. Yep. And the last one? Legitimate. Legitimate. Perfect. Any questions about the vocabulary? No. No. I love this word, jubilant. I just think it's a good word. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at our article. Zoom in. So we've got stale of stolen, <laughs> not stale, sale of stolen Banksy mural canceled at 11th hour. Do you know what this means? It's actually an expression. It is canceled at the last minute. Yeah, the last minute, 11th hour. Auction in U.S. halted after Herringy residents campaigned for artwork to be returned to shop it was removed from. Um, and it was just written towards the end of February. So we've got the article divided into sections, and I'll get you guys to take turns reading. Um, first person can read paragraphs one and two because they're kind of short. Um, yes. So let's let start let me... with yes, Ali Reza. Yes. Uh, if I have any bad, bad uh, pronunciation, uh, please let me please. Uh, yes, tell I me. will make note of it as you're reading, and then I'll tell you afterwards. Okay. Uh. Okay, thank you. The, con the controversial auction of a ba Banksy mur mural that dis disappeared from the wall of uh, a North London London shop in mysterious circumstances was dramatically halted just moment before it was due to go under the hammer. Yep, yeah. and can you read number two as well, just because they're, it's kind of short. Okay, it's, it's Slav Labor, it's party painted artwork uh, dip, dip, depicting a child making union flag bunting and seen as a critical social commentary on last year's Diamond Jubilee was expected to sell for about uh, $700,000 in a sale of street and contemporary art in Florida. Okay. There's some words in the chat there for you. The first one is disappeared. 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 And can you read the next one? Wall. Okay, so when you're making your W sound, or you, you're making a V sound right now, you're saying vol, vol. Vol, vol. But you need to be making a W. There's a difference between the V, V, and the W, wall. Wall. Yeah, that was better. Wall. So you just have to be careful with the two sounds. Um, Thank you so much. Slave. Slave. Yeah, it's not slav, it's it's slave because that e on the end of the word it makes the a a long vowel sound, right? Yes, yes. So this if it was a word, it's not, but that would be slav. And then when you add the e it's slave. Um and then the next one? Child. Okay, child. Child, child. Child. Child, child yes. Child. And the next one? Commentary. Okay, so you're pronouncing it almost right. You just need to emphasize the f um, first syllable instead. So it should be like this: commentary. 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 Oh. A, a stress is in uh, first uh, letter. Yes. Commentary. Yeah. The stress is on the first syllable. Commentary. Um, commentary. And then Florida. 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 So when we say Florida. You actually almost pronounce it like this. You almost just ignore that I. <laughs> Instead of saying Florida, we usually just say Florida. And the I kind of disappears. Okay, okay, thank you, Florida. Florida. Um, okay. 
So this mural of Banksy's has disappeared. Controversial. I'm going with blue today. I hope that's okay, guys. Um, and we've got mural. Do you know what it means for something to be dramatically halted? No, halted. no. It means to halt is to come to a, a stop. Come to a quick stop. So if something is dramatically halted. It's like something happened and they had to freeze um, the situation. They had to stop for, um, stop it from being sold. Some, the sale, because of mysterious circumstances, <laughs> was dramatically halted just moments before it was due to go under the hammer. And that's like an auction expression, this go under the hammer. Because, um, you know, at an auction they say all the numbers, blah, 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 and then when someone buys it, they go sold, and they smack the hammer down. So that's an expression to do with that. Um, any other vocabulary here? Diamond Jubilee. Okay, the Diamond Jubilee. Let me, I believe that that's actually an award specific to art, but let me just double check. Oh, it's an anniversary. An anniversary celebrating. Sorry. I'm trying to paste something, but it's not working. <laughs> the passage of 60 years. So last year's Diamond Jubilee um, was expected to sell for about $700,000. So if they're talking about a diamond jubilee as a piece of artwork, it would be a piece of artwork that's 60 years old. So um, they're saying that it was a depiction, oops, a depiction of a child making union flag bunting. That was a spray painted piece of artwork. It was seen as a social commentary on last year's diamond jubilee. So the 60 year old piece of artwork that they were selling last year, it was a commentary on that. Jubilee, another kind of cool word. Um, okay, should we continue with number three? Um, Hoyan, would you like to read? Yeah. But auctioneer, auctioneer Frederick thought the owner of the fine arts auction Miami Art House, who had who had refused all week to debauch the identity of the seller or how it came to be listed for sale through his gallery announced that the piece along with second work with a second work by the secretive British street artist had been withdrawn. So that was perfect. Just the word divulge. 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 Do you know what that means? I don't. Do you divulge the identity of someone? To, um, to hide. Say. No, it's not to hide. It's actually the opposite. To to reveal them. So if you if you refuse to divulge the identity, that means you're hiding it. If you do divulge the identity, that means you're telling people who they are. Or to hide. There's that word. Withdrawn. Um, any other vocabulary? The auctioneer is just the guy running the auction, right? The guy with the hammer. <laughs> Talking really quickly. Okay. Numbers four and five. Um, Igor? He would not give a reason, but community leaders in Harangay who led a vocal campaign to stop the sale of the artwork that was prized from the wall of uh, Oundland in Wood Green, where Jubilant. One of our two demands was that it doesn't sell and the other was that we get it back again. So we, we are half away there, said Alan Strickland, a uh, Harangay counselor. Okay. So we've got vocal. Vocal. Yeah, just be careful with your Vs because it sounded kind of like a W. W. So just yes. be careful with that. Vocal. Um, Poundland. Poundland. 
So whenever we're talking about a city or a place that ends in land, like that, L-A-N-D, like for example in Canada we have Newfoundland, when you say the word by itself, it's pronounced land usually. Like look at the land mass or there's a lot of land in Canada. But when it's at the end of a place like this, it's pronounced more like lend, poundland, Newfoundland. Newfoundland, poundland. Yeah. Um, and then we're. We're. Yeah, you just pronounce it how it looks. Don't say we are just because, I mean, you know that it's a contraction for we are, right? But don't yeah. pronounce we are. Just say we're when you see that. Okay. It's the same okay. with any contraction. Like when you see I'm, you don't say I am. You say I'm. You just pronounce it how it looks. Um, okay. So here's that word prized. So this um, led a vocal campaign to stop the sale of artwork that was prized from the wall of a pound lid in wood green. So if it was prized from a wall, it means somebody like took a tool and kind of forced it from the wall, peeled it off of the wall almost. Okay. Jubilant. Um, any other vocabulary here? No? No. Okay. Number. Counselor, 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 counselor. Um, does anyone know what a counselor is? I think it's in, uh, the council uh, is the, the mayor. Is the one who works for the council. Yeah, it's someone who works on a council or who is part of a council. So usually we have a city council. Um, in I don't know what the politics are like where everyone is from, but. Um, in Canada, like I live in a small city at home, and we have a city council, and it's just a group of people who make kind of municipal decisions just about the city. That's the city council. So someone on the council would be called a councillor, somebody who works on a council or who is mm -hmm. part of a council. Um, so if he, this guy is a Herringy councillor, and we know that Herringy is a place, right? So that's what's happening. He's he's on their city council. Um, okay, let's continue to number six. Um, Jose. Jose, would you like to read? Okay. I will be writing to the auction house as a matter of urgency to clarify what happened and what will happen next, but. For now, we are really pleased that because of the pressure and the strong views of the people of Good Green, a community campaign in London has had an impact in the U.S. It's a real victory for the people. Can you say urgency? Urgency. 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 Okay, so you're saying... R, it's you're saying it more like this, like an A sound, urgency. Urgency. But it should be more like er, like this. Urgency. Think of like you're angry. Er. Uh, okay. Urgency. 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 That was better. Urgency. Urgency. And the word, okay, so this is this is kind of controversial, but the word the, <laughs> sometimes it's pronounced the by some people, and sometimes it's pronounced the. Um, in American English, we say the more often than we say the. The sounds um, kind of more academic. We use the a lot of the time when we're saying a title, but usually when you see the word in the middle of a sentence, it's pronounced more like this, like the. Um, the. So, for example, in this sentence, I would say, for now, we are really pleased that because of the pressure and the strong views of the people. I wouldn't say the pressure and the strong views of the people. It doesn't sound natural to me, um, but that's kind of an accent thing, depending on where you're from. Uh, North America or the American accent, it's more common to pronounce it the than the. Yeah. The pressure, the strong, the views. So, the but the uh, is not pronounced when uh, we have a word with uh, vocal? 
no one. After when, the, for example, apple. Yeah. So it. Pardon. It's sometimes used when you you're following it by a vowel, like the apple. Um, but honestly, I would still say the apple. The apple. The apple. So yeah. it. Vowels, yeah. Not always, though. It depends on your accent. So I would say the apple. Um, I would say the most. The most. Can, oh, I, can I ever say the instead of the? You can pretty much always say the instead of the. Yeah. Um, it does depend on your accent. I believe in British English, it's more common to say the when you're following it by a vowel. Like Nemo, I could say the end, the end, or you could say the end. They're they're both okay. It's not it's not a matter of error. They're both fine. Um, it's more a matter of just natural speech. In with the American accent, it is more common to say the. So, just to okay. know, but. It's not wrong mm -hmm. to say it the way you did. <laughs> okay. It just makes you sound more kind of like that sort of accent. More natural. More natural, yeah. Okay. Um, it's on the first syllable. Impact. Impact. Um, okay. Any other vocabulary in this paragraph? No. no. Okay. Let's go to Naven. Um, Nemo. Yeah. Okay. Would you like to read? Paragraph number seven. Number seven. Okay. Number. Claire Cooper, leader of uh, Herengy uh, Council wrote to Arts Council England and uh, the Mayor of Miami. Uh, Thomas uh, Regaldo, Reglado, Regalado. Yeah, I think it's Regalado, but it's, uh, it looks like Spanish, maybe? Regalado. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Regalado. <laughs> to ask him uh, to uh, intervene to stop the sale, but uh, it appears the discussion to withdraw, withdraw, the item came from the gallery, uh, the gallery on owners, and co uh, consultation, consultation with their lawyers. The FBI refused to confirm reports. They were asked to uh, investigate. Okay, I think it goes up. Here, oh no, that's it. Okay, sorry, I'm going all over the place. <laughs> um, okay, so mayor. Mayor, decision. Mayor. You said discussion, which is probably just uh -huh. because you 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 might have just seen the word wrong. Um, but it's decision yeah. and decision. withdraw. Withdraw. Withdraw, and then one other one, consultation. Consultation. So it's not con con like this consultation con. It's consultation. Con. It's more like that con. con. Consultation. Yeah. Cool. Um, so there's that word intervene. So he called them to ask them to intervene to stop the sale. Um, but it looks like the, de the decision to withdraw the item came from the gallery owners in consultation with. So there's some prepositions. In consultation with someone else. In consultation with their lawyers. Um, any other vocabulary here? Can we use here uh, instead of word withdraw uh, to use word uh, exclude? Withdraw. Um. Yeah, you could use exclude. Yep. Okay. Exclude. And what yeah, is the item. difference? The difference exclude is. And um, withdraw? Yeah, the difference is when you say withdraw, it sounds more like you're pulling it out. You, you're. It was there, and you're like, okay, we don't want it anymore. To exclude. Um, could either mean the same thing that you're pulling it out, um, but it you, it just means that you're not including it, not including. So, with withdraw, it was intended to be in the auction, and you decided you didn't want it in the auction anymore. 
with exclude, it may have never been in the auction in the first place. It might have all, the whole time just been a decision not to include it. Okay. So withdraw implies implies that it was going to be in the auction, and now it's not. Does that make sense? But you could, in this case, you could replace it with exclude, and it would sound fine. It it would make this. It would make sense. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's go to number eight. Once I get there. Okay. <laughs> number eight. Uh, Raphael. Yeah. Several hours after the conclusion of the auction, the auction house issued a brief statement claiming it had persuaded the owners of the two banks to pull them from the sale. Although there are no legal issues whatsoever regarding the sale of lots 6 and 7 by Bansky, FEAM combines its sellers to withdraw these lots from the auction. Okay. I missed this part. Could you just read the quote one more time for us? Yeah. Although there are no legal issues whatsoever regarding the sale of lot 6 and 7 by Banskin, FEAM combines its seller to withdraw these lots from the auction. Good. Okay. Um, there's a few words. Auction. Out so you're saying auction, auction, but it, it's, you shouldn't be making a W sound. Auction. It's more like ah, uh, like you're opening your mouth at the dentist. Auction. Uh, auction. Auction. Not auction. Um, and persuaded. 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 Yeah, so it's like it sounds like this. I'm gonna type it how it sounds. Persuaded. Persuaded. Yeah, and convinced. 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 Make sure we hear you. Convinced. Convinced. And be careful about how you pronounce these versus this. These. This. Yeah. So that's your E and your I sound. That's pretty common to get those two mixed up. So just be careful with that. Um, and withdraw. Withdraw. So that's the same ah sound. It's like ah, withdraw, not withdraw. Yeah. Withdraw. 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 Yeah. yeah, perfect. Thank you. Um, OK, so I, I have like a huge chunk highlighted now. I can't get rid of it. Ah. <laughs> there we go. Um, so we've got withdraw again. Does that, anybody know who Banksy is? Who's this guy that we keep talking about? From London. Yeah, mm -hmm. has a anyone painter. seen um, Exit Through the Gift Shop? It's a documentary. No. It's really good. If you're interested in like street art and graffiti and stuff, um, it's a really interesting documentary about Banksy and other street artists. Um, but yeah, he's a guy who does graffiti or street art and he's from London, and he's anonymous, or he's supposed to be unknown. Nobody knows his real identity. Um, and he's very famous now. He's very, very famous in this, these circles. So they're talking about needing to pull a, two, the two Banksies. So sometimes when we're talking about art, you just talk about it as the artist's last name, um, even though we're not actually pulling two of the human Banksy, right? <laughs> Um, they're pulling two pieces of his art, but you refer to them as two Banksies. Or if we were talking about Picasso, you might say there's there are two Picassos, which it just means that there's two pieces of art by Picasso. So, just kind of a term. We use it sometimes with literature as well, <coughs> talking about books that a certain person has written. Um, there's that word lots as well. Lots. Does everyone know whatsoever? Have you heard that before? Just whatever, but it is whatever. used in the negative sentence. Yes, exactly. Um, okay, shall we continue? 
I think I'll get the next person to read 9 and 10. Um, and that is Hoi Yeah. 9 and 10. Yeah. About 30 potential buyers attended the sales of 106 lots listed in the catalog for the modern contemporary and street art sales in Miami's trendy Wynwood neighborhood. The three-hour auction continued with other early lots selling in excess of their asking prices. Critics have accused the auction house of dealing in stolen property but that insisted earlier in the week that the seller who he described as a well-known collector was the rightful owner and that the sale was legal. Okay. I'm hearing a little problem with your R's. When it's in the middle of a word, um, make sure that you're still pronouncing the R sound. Like contemporary, when you said it, it the R almost sounded like a W in the middle. Same with neighborhood. So neighborhood. Contemporary. Contemporary. You need to we need to hear both Rary. Oh, okay. Contem contemporary. Contemporary. Rary. Yeah. Rary. Contemporary. Yeah. Because once that R, because I think it's because there's so many syllables in the word <laughs> that once you kind of get to the middle, the R was kind of sounding like a W. Same with neighborhood. Neighbor. Neighborhood. Neighborhood. Thank you. Neighborhood. Yeah. Um, I don't remember what the problem was, but can you say catalog again? Catalog? Catalog. Oh, it was the T. Catalog. Um, catalog, it actually almost sounds more like a D because it's in the middle of a word. Catalog. 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 Okay, catalog. catalog. Just in American catalog. in the accent, it sounds more like a D in the middle there. Catalog. Um, catalog. Trendy. Trendy. That was fine, yeah. So it's mostly just the R's. Your R's are fine, but it it's in the middle of words. They're almost disappearing or sounding like a almost like a W. So just be careful about that. Neighborhood. Thank you. Um Okay. Cool. <laughs> Any other vocabulary here? So I have a question. We're almost out of time. We won't fit, be able to finish the article, but would you guys ever buy a piece of art for like eight hundred thousand dollars? Are you guys art people? Yes, I would buy. No, you would. I would. Yes, want. of course. <laughs> Igor, no, so of course, no. I but, just uh, kidding. <laughs> but it's not. I, it's it's a serious question because there's a lot of people who are really like super into art, and they would spend that much money. Um, if I was rich, I mean, that's, if I were rich, you would buy. Probably not, actually. I don't think I'd be able to justify it. <laughs> I think you should say that I would buy and uh, you will be rich if you say uh, things <laughs> that do another rich people. So yeah. you, would, you will be rich. Do you know this? Uh, yeah. I mean, like, movie I've... Secret, I don't know. I watched. <laughs> I feel like it would be hard to justify spending that much money on a piece of art. But sometimes people, um, just because of the artist, would spend, you know, like what if it was the Mona Lisa and someone was like, the Mona Lisa is for sale. How much do you think that would sell for? It would be crazy. Can't even imagine. <laughs> Can't even imagine. So I might spend a little bit of money on that, but $800,000. I don't know. <laughs> All right, we're almost out of time, guys, but I'm teaching the next two classes. Um, the next one is uh, fictional reading, so we're reading choose your own adventure stories, kind of fun. Um, and then the one after that is creative writing. So hopefully I will see you guys in class. Um, I'll give you my Facebook if you don't have it. Yeah, thanks Thank for you. coming. Thanks, teacher. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.